descriptive paragraphs. A descriptive paragraph provides a vibrant experience for the reader by using vivid language and descriptions. In this video, we will explain how you can write descriptive paragraphs. To write a descriptive paragraph, you need to use language that appeals to the reader's five senses – sight, smell, sound, taste, and touch. You can do this by using descriptive language, usually in the form of adjectives. For example, let's look at two sentences to see the difference. Sentence 1. The tree was tall and green. Sentence 2. The soft pink flowers of the dogwood tree smelled sweet in the cool spring air as the wind whistled through its yellow-green leaves. Sentence 1 does not really appeal to the senses. Sentence 2 is more descriptive. It appeals to our senses by describing the flowers as soft and pink, the smell as sweet, the air as cool, and the wind as whistling. It paints a picture so that we can imagine the scene. There are different words you can use to evoke each sense. For example, you can use things like color to appeal to sight, words like loud or melodic to appear to hearing, words like fruity or stale to appeal to smell, words like sour or spicy to appeal to taste, and words like soft or smooth to appeal to touch. Descriptive paragraphs should show how and why something is significant rather than simply telling the reader. A good writer helps the reader picture what they are describing. However, a better writer shows the reader the purpose or reason for describing something. Consider the differences between the sentences below. Example 1. Ever since grade school, I have always been nervous during tests. That's not a lot of detail. Now example 2. I stared at the blank white paper of my exam and desperately tried to focus. As the teacher announced that time was almost up, I remember the taunt of my evil grade school teacher. You'll never pass this test. Just give up already. The memory of her words paralyzed my mind. Even more panic-stricken than before, I stared wildly back at my blank test, trying to remember what the teacher had said in class last week or what I had read in the textbook. Example 2 has much more detail, which helped us to understand why grade school was relevant to the current situation. When you write your own descriptive paragraphs, keep these thoughts in mind.